all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this session we'll be trying to see how to build apis with a very nice package called hog so hog is a very nice framework that allows you to be able to build apis CLIs, and then local packages so it gives you the option of writing code as the ones sorry and then after that you'll be able to build it as and expose it as an api as a cli and as a local package so let's see what i mean by that so first of all let's install it so to install it just open your terminal then just go with pip install hog right that is all that you need so i've already installed it so we just move straight away to it then from here we're going to create our file we're going to call it as app.py then i'll open my file right which we have already so this is going to be the file that i've created here perfect so let's see how to build a simple api with hog so it's going to be something very simple so we're going to import hug and that is also hug allows you to be able to write one code and then give you the option of being able to expose it as a local package right so in case your clients want to use it as, as a local package they can use it you can use your single code as a local package or they can also use it as an api or they can also use it as a cli right so let's see how to work with it so the simplest way is that you're just going to create a simple function so let's call it a def then let's give it as let's say get books right that's a simple function that we're creating then we're going to supply the argument so we're giving it as a title then from here i'm going to specify the particular type of data right data type so just go with hack dot type perfect types dot test right so this is going to be the data type of the particular argument you are supplying very very interesting right so that is all then i can just give it a simple doc screens so let's give it a simple doc string so let's just just to get books by title right and they're very simple then from here i can just sub retain something to so retain it i'm going to retain the title then i'm going to retain something like the title that i have dot upper something very simple something very basic it's something simple i've built right so in case i want to expose it locally all i need is just to go with a hack the creator then call it as local so there are three different decorators which you can use there are several of them you have the hack local dot local for make exposing it as a local package you have the hack dot get for api we have dot get we have dot post and several of them for making it as, as an api see what i'm typing <laughs> and then you can also have the hack dot cli right cli for exposing it as a cli so these are the three main the creator that allows you to, be able to use the same code in three different formats so, but let's continue and see how to work with it as a local package so perfect so i'm just going to see this particular stuff then if i come back to my terminal the same place as my file is which is this place i can open it as python 3 then from here i can go it from my app referring to this particular file right then i'm going to import the get books so i'm going to import the get books the get books is this particular function that we created here right this simple function here and then from here i can actually go with get books and then supply the title so if i supply any title let's call this a uh, pride and pretty just something like that pre or let's say pride and print something like that something very simple if i go with that it's not notice it's working perfectly so it is giving to us like how it's supposed to be in case i forget to give the argument supply the argument and i go with this it's going to give us an error right out of the box with this particular information very very interesting right very cool so with this particular simple code i've written i can be able to expose it as a local package with all of this information very nice that is one way of using it so now let's see the other way of using the same code as you have written so i'm just going to go back to this place then we'll be converting this thing that we have done into an api how do we do that so very simple i just come back to the same top here on top of it then let's call it as hack dot get so we have hack dot get hack dot post based on the http method that you want to do but let's use the simple one which is get perfect and from here i can just save it and then with this little thing i've done I can see it as an API, right? That is the simplest way. So let's run the same thing that we have done. So I'm just going to go, go back to my terminal, then run it with hug dash f. So the dash f stands for file. Then I'll supply the name of the file, which is app.py. It's going to open it as a server, right? It's going to save this particular 
file perfectly and it's going to save it on port 8000 which is our lookup port so if i come back to my brother here and go with lookup port 8000 if i go with 8000 it's going to open for us it's going to show us how to use it right this is a simple documentation that's coming from it very very interesting so let's let me expand it like this very interesting now how do i use so i'm just going to go with this particular route here i'll copy this route then paste it here which is going to be this all right so if i run it now so that's arrow title required right so the reason the title is required is because i was put to supply a title for what you have done to supply this particular title so i just supply the title so let's give it a simple title by going with the query string then go with title then from here i can just supply any title that i want so let's give it a simple title like this let me expand it a simple title like let's say a simple title like let's say unscripted right unscripted it's a very nice book unscripted but if i go with this now it's going to work perfectly for us and give us a title as unscripted very very interesting and very simple out of the box so with a simple code we wrote we're able to expose this stuff as an api if i come back again to this place and i come back here so now we are able to get everything perfectly working well right very interesting so in case you don't want to use this option you can see from here that it's even giving us the usage right get books by title which is our doc string here very very interesting so it's able to build documentation from that little code you have done now in case you don't want to use this function right it's not nice as your route can supply the route here by going with this particular option so backslash books so i go with backslash books now it's going to use this particular one as my route so if i save it and i come back here refresh it it's identifying the changes made right reloading identifying it now perfect so if i come back here it has changed it from the previous one so now i have this particular get this backslash books as my route so if i go back to this place backslash books perfect so there's an error now i have to go back with the box with the query then supply the title then give it my unscripted book right it's going to commit perfectly so that is how to build apis from this little code you have done so with this little code we are going to build use it locally from like this that we did with this particular option we have been able to expose it as an api very interesting and now we can also use it as a cli so let's add the other option of seeing it or using the CLI, CLI into it. So how do we do that? So it is very simple. So with the CLI is very simple. All, all you have to do is just come to the top of this file. Same thing that we did. Then go with hack dot CLI. That is all. Then since it's a CLI, we need to be able to create our if main function. So we're going to be the if main function. Perfect. And now we are going to supply the part that particular function, which is this get books function. So this is going to be our get books. So let's go to get books dot interface dot cli so there's another interface you are trying to use it to. so that is all that we need so if i save this particular stuff and now let's close our server so i'm going to close this our server now so let's open another place and let's stop this one right so from here i can actually use the same code that we have written this same code as a cli how so i just with this little code so i can just go with this same thing i have which is this particular file then run it as hack dash f then the name of the file is app.py then i can just go with dash c so with the dash c i'll be able to supply that particular stuff so if i go with dash c that help it's going to show me how to use it so the dash c stands for the command right so this is available command so this is how to use this particular stuff so i can just go the same option then go with get books get books then i'll supply the title so let's call it as this is the best something like this so let's paste this one inside this particular string like this now if i go with this it's going to work perfectly for us and return it right this is the best book so out of a single code we have been able to build three different things we have been able to build a cli we need to build an api we need to build use it locally so hard gives you a lot of functionalities to do now let's use it to build something interesting and something useful right so this is useful this is a basic idea so in the next session we're trying to see how to use it to build something useful that you can actually work with so see you in the next session so the basic idea is that you're just going to import hack from here then in case you want to expose it locally you just go with this option in case you also want to expose it as an api you just go with this particular option in case you also want to expose it as a cli just go with this particular decorator and then you don't forget to bring this one so thank you for watching and see you in the next session stay blessed